Hello everyone, Dr. Ramsaro here from Navyam Hospital, Jaipur. This is a case of TLH for the ventro fixed bicornate uterus with the previous two cesarean section. On entering the peritoneal cavity, the secondary ports were made at the normal location and the careful examination of the uterus and the pelvic cavity was made to find the dense adhesion band on the anterior side to, of the uterus to the anterior abdominal wall and the few omental adhesions were also present. So first we took care of the omental adhesions with the help of bipolar shearer and we can see the posterior surface of the uterus was free. So now we proceeded for the anterior adhesion band. We used the bipolar shearer with the sharp cutting current. We remained near the uterine surface but we took care that the uterine tissue should not be left behind along with the anterior abdominal wall. Little by little the band was released and the traction on here was made with the help of the needle holder and the grasper. With proceeding further the adhesion band was released completely off from the uterine surface. And this is the last part which is released now. After releasing this, the uterus is completely free from the anterior abdominal wall. And then we can see the bladder additions which are flimsy as well as dense at the previous scar site. So, first we proceeded for the left round ligament. We catch hold the round ligament and text made by the needle holder and the round ligament was well coagulated and cut. Here the ovaries should be preserved so filmsy additions were released off. Then the tubo ovarian ligament was cut. Here we should be remain near the fallopian tube to avoid the injury to the ovarian vasculature. Then the ovarian ligament was well coagulated and cut and further the posterior leaf of the broad ligament was dissected deep down. Then the uterine vessels were identified for the bladder dissection. We use the retrograde manner of the dissection here. First, we made a blunt dissection above the uterine vessels to dissect the bladder deep down and this dissection was carried out further and the dense adhesion band at the scar site were released at the last. These steps were repeated again and again. First dissected the bladder below and then the adhesion band were released off from the uterus. Here we should remain near the uterine surface to cut the adhesion band at the scar site. Here the whole bladder should be lifted up to release these adhesions and the good adhesiolysis should be made deep down. Then The posterior leaf of the remaining road ligament was released off till the level of insertion of the left uterosacral ligament to the uterus and the cervix. After that, the uterine vessels were well coagulated with the help of ligation current to the bipolar shearer and after that, the uterine vessels were cut off and slowly lateralized well deep till the uterosacral ligaments. Now the dissection was proceeded towards the right side. First the round ligament was well coagulated and cut with the help of bipolar sera and then the tubo ovarian ligament was taken care of and here the dissection should be remained near the open tubes. Then the ovarian ligament was well coagulated and cut 
and the ovary was released away from the uterus. Then the posterior surface of the broad ligament was dissected deep till the level of uterosacral ligament. Here we can see the venous plexus. Now the bladder dissection was carried out. The last part of the bladder was dissected deep down from the right side. Here we should lift the bladder hole upward and the CO2 itself make a good plane between the cervix vagina and the bladder. After a good dissection for the bladder, we proceeded our dissection towards the right uterine bundle. Here the uterine vessels were well coagulated with the ligation current and cut and then lateralized well deep till the uterosacral ligaments. After that, the dissection was carried out from the left side and the anterior vaginal wall was dissected. First the cervical vaginal fascia was dissected and the later on the vaginal wall was cut off. The vault was opened anteriorly and proceeded circumferentially to completely detach the uterus from the vagina. We should remain near the cervix here to unnecessary shortening of the vaginal length. If the posterior dissection was completed for the vaginal vault and the further remain right side dissection was carried out. Now the uterus is separated from the vaginal and the uterus was held in with the help of needle holder and pushed outside from the vagina. Now the vaginal vault was sutured with the help of number one vicryl into figure of eight sutures incorporating the both uterosacral ligaments to prevent the further vault prolapse. This is the final picture after the hysterectomy and the suturing and we put the safeguard solution to stop the minor oozy. Thank you very much for watching this video.